So we are in the video Creative Commons explanation. We are now going to the editor. Click the left hand side editor. Wait for your video to come in. It will show here on the line. And this is your audio. This is your Zoom. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can also resize it from here and make it bigger for you to be able to look at. The only thing is, is that you may not be able to see the other options that are at the bottom there. So it's good to keep it a good size. Now your trim, if you click on trim, if you're just trimming, you don't need to click anything else down here. You have your undo and your redo, and then your save. Now, if you're trimming from the front, the first of it, what you do is you pull, and actually this one is can be a little deceiving. This is actually your uh, one that is used for your split. So you actually take this and you pull this over to where you want it to start. And as you'll notice, this gets darker. This will be the part that is removed. And you can do the same for your ending. And then once you're done, you will click the preview. And then this will show you what your video looks like after the parts, the front or the end part is taken, taken out. If you are satisfied, you would then click the save button. And YouTube will be processing your video in the background and it does take a while for your video to be processed. Now say you wanted to take a part out from the middle. You would click this one which is split. Somehow I managed to get out of there. Just going to clear my... So, first thing is choose features. Reload the page, so I'm going to get started. Say you're doing a video and there's a part that your internet goes out or there's a part that isn't done properly and you want to take it out of your video. 
this is the way that you would be doing it. You would click trim and this is your splitter. So wherever you put this and then you, it, you would then click split. You would, see, you would see where do you want to split your video or take a part out and then you would move it to the area that you want to have taken out. And then you would click preview. You would then preview it and see if you are satisfied. If you are satisfied with it, then you would click save. And that would be the way that you edit out information that either is not necessary or there was a mistake that was made. So after you, I am just going to um, after you click save then changes will be saved and I'm just going to discard the changes because these are not the changes I am doing to this video. I do want to have a little bit of this edited. I want to take that part off. That's the only thing I really want to do with this video. So. That's what I wanted to take out. Then preview and save. So now this video, it'll tell you saving these changes will cause your existing video to be updated. So yes, you would like to save the changes. The video is being processed. Please check back later. Okay. So while this video is being processed, we're going to go to the one that we downloaded from the Creative Commons and then re-upload it, change the title, the description, and the keywords. Now you want to make sure that you do a good thumbnail. So I usually go to canva.com. to the if you don't have an account you can easily get an account just by going here and signing up I'll leave the link in the description and creator design. I want a YouTube thumbnail.
You can use one of these templates here. Or you can use um, a photo from an upload if you want to use that on your thumbnail. Or you could use an element. In graphics, so you'll have your recently used if you already have an account. Free, or sorry, Easter. lines, charts, illustrations, icons, social media, web and SEO, family and home, health, beauty and fashion. Okay, so let's see, what are we going to, to do? It's a Creative Commons. I think I'm going to use this to begin with. It's just an old fashioned TV, but you have to make your thumbnails interesting. If your thumbnail is not interesting, then what will happen is that if you're not, if you will not click on it, either will anybody else. Then you can go after you pick your graphic, you can then go into your text. Just going to add a heading. I'm going to look at my keywords that I, okay, so this is a good keyword right here, Creative Commons license, so I'm going to use this. I like this one actually better. What is Creative Commons. So I'm just going to copy that and then put that into what happened to my text here? It disappeared on me. there. If you make a mistake in here, it's just so much easier just to redo it. So just use your little garbage can up there and delete it and then redo it rather than fooling around with it and trying to get it the way that you want. You have to wait for the line to come up then you know that you're actually in the text. So I'm just going to select all and then select paste to copy what I just, okay. So now 
I am going to use this without capitals because when people type in things that they look for, they don't put capitals in. So if you want to find your keywords to what you're looking for, sometimes it's best not to put all capitals in. You could put capitals in the beginning, but leave the rest without capitals. I'm just trying to move. No, I don't want to move that. Okay. You have to wait until you get your four arrows and then you can move. You see the the four arrows there? Then you can actually move your box, whether it's a text box or a, a illustration, a photo. Okay, and then I wanna just put one capital on here at the beginning. And then that's it. And now I want to choose a font. And then the color of my font. Since I think I'm gonna have a yellow background I'm going to see what that's going to look like in red. So I'm going to choose the red. Now, I want to have my image or my illustration in the colors of my actual text. So here I will be changing the color to red to see what that looks like. Now I am going slower so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, and I also want to change this color to red. Now, I think what I am going to do is I am going to put the CC inside. So I need to find that. What is Creative Commons? Now, I want to put a background on. I'm going to use a solid color. You can use any background that you want, but I find solid colors work the best with illustrations and text. Yellow. Okay, and now I notice that this needs to be bigger, so I want to make this bigger. I'm gonna make it 56. This is white. I'm going to make this black.
Question mark. Oops. Don't want that to be okay. Now you can when you go into your text, there's a few things you can do with it. You can do spacing, which means your letters are further apart, which makes your title longer or shorter. Or closer together. And I think that that is good. I did want to put a question mark at the end of this. In there. So you have to use your arrow bar to your arrows to put question mark or at the period at the end. And yeah, let's see that that's not okay. Now you will have to work on this and fool around with it uh, because unless you are an expert then um, making a thumbnail takes time and I have been making them for uh, quite a while and it still takes time now you see this lettering is behind the TV I want to be able to move that I'm going to use my three dots there, position. So I want to position that forward. So that it's on top and not behind. And then this one, this image here, illustration, I want to make sure that this is backward, and it is. Okay. There we go. Now, I wanted to use the. Uh, I wanted to look in social media here. Creative Commons sign or something close to it. Just get, type something in here and see if something comes up. And I am using a free account, so I am looking at everything that you would pay for, but I do notice there is one here that is free. And I'm going to use that. So, make that smaller. Now, since that is black I want to make that into a color that I can see
I like that the way that is, so I'm going to now download this to my computer. I'm going to click download. Click where you want to save it. And the name. Go back to your video editor. video should be processed. So go back into your YouTube studio beta. Choose your video. Find where your thumbnails are, create a thumbnail, your current thumbnail, we are going to use other image, click on your other image, now the thumbnail that you just created in Canva. Show that in your folder. It will then open up. Once it is open, take it and drop it into going to make that a little smaller so that you can see. So now this is what I created in Canva. Now I'm going to click next. Now you do have an option. You could add more text and I am going to add my logo, which is the DIY affiliate. And I have my capitals on. You do have a choice to choose the font that you want. And I choose a font like this. That's not the one that I choose. Maybe something that's a little bit more readable. that. You can choose the size that you want and the color. You have to change this color because 
Usually it's a white background and you cannot see it. So I'm actually going to make that black. I'm not putting a border on this. However, you could put a border on. If you put a border on, you can make it into a different color and then the strength of your border, the higher the number, the more of a border you have. So say I have five. So I have a larger border than I would have with one. And then you just add your text. And then I see I have that backwards. So I am changing the color scheme, putting the yellow inside and the black on the outside. And I don't like that font, so I am going to change that font again to this one. So much better. You can you need something that's readable. And another thing I would definitely add for me is the year. Because you may find different videos that are there but they're they've been on there for years and things change so updated and there we go with that again which is backwards i am not going to have a border on this one i have to decide on what i want may want something that's a little bit different so and this too you can fool around with okay, so you could just notice that I just made a double so make sure that you only have one copy of it so that's updated 2019. Another thing you can do is you can add a shape. Say you want to add a rectangle. So we're going to add a rectangle. This is my rectangle right here. And then if I make this bigger, sort of like that, and then say I want to take this text here that I just made, and put it right there and I don't like that font it's not readable so Or you could make, also you will notice that this will disappear sometimes. So you do have to be careful with that. If you are using this on top of here, then there is something that has to do with padding. So depending on where you want it, you will choose these different options whether you want to move it forward or you want to move it backwards or you want to duplicate it you can also use this as well and this will then change the opacity so you wanted to use something like this but you wanted it to be sort of in the background a little bit so then you could do it like that and then take your text and put your text on if you wanted to do it that way. 
Um, another thing you can do is you can then t bring another image down. You can drag and drop your image. Like for instance, say I wanted to use this this particular image or another image then if it didn't show in the folder and then drag and actually gonna I don't want to use the same image. So I want to save this as Okay, so I'm just going to use this as an example, drag and drop, and then it comes up there again, the same one. And you can also move this around. You can also make it bigger or smaller. You have to go back into your image and then click on this. And then when you get your arrows that come like this, you can make this bigger or smaller. You can also create templates. So say I wanted to keep this because I was going to use it again. I would create a template on here. I would give it a name. And create new. Then this would then create a template for me so I could use this again. And I've already have one created, so I'm going to make this two. Create new. So there's quite a lot that you can do with your thumbnail and then I'm just going to click next and then save the thumbnail. Once it's saved, then close. Okay. So now this video is still private, but I am going to go back now into my editor. And you also have to remember to save or YouTube will remind you to save and you'll see changes saved. If this does not appear at the bottom, it means your changes are not saved. And you need to find out why they're not being saved. So going back into the YouTube Studio Beta Editor. Add an end screen. So the end screen appears 20 seconds before the end of your video. So you can choose one of these templates. And I like this one here. So I'm going to apply it. So you, this is what people will see at the end of your video. And another thing to remember is to, when you are creating a video, which is, this is another uh, tip that I have learned through trial and error. At the end of your video, 
what you could do is say, if you want more information about Creative Commons, you can either choose this uh, video right here or this video and you point in either direction and these are where your videos are going to be shown. This is for your, um, for people to subscribe. So you can use the most recent upload. Let's say I click in here. Or you could use best for the viewer. Or you could choose a specific video. Just going to go into here. Say you wanted to choose a playlist or say you wanted to feature a channel. You could do that as well. So choose a specific video. Your videos will then come up then you can choose a specific video as to what do you want the people to, uh, um, to be recommended for. I'll say I choose this one. You'll see that it comes up here and you can move it around. You can move it down wherever you want it to go. Now, this one is best for the viewer. So the viewer actually will get a choice. And then this is your subscribe. And you can also move this around. And then when you are done, you then click save. And you have your end screen done. Video is being processed. Now there's a few things that are missing here. That are not available and that you can actually still do in the Creator Studio. And one of them is to make a card. So we're just going to go into where it says other features. We're just going to go back into the YouTube Studio Beta. I'm just going to go okay. I'm going to go back into YouTube Studio Beta. And once we're back in YouTube Studio Beta, then I will show you where to do your cards. So going back into the YouTube Studio Beta. Here you have where you can do your cards. So I'm just going to click on that.
Hi, this is Rochelle, the DIY affiliate. And for those of you who don't yeah, know you me, have I an option to create a video playlist and channels to do that a, poll. a person can use for free or a free trial. Just and I tried them out sure myself, and then I recommend this to where you want it to go, because otherwise it'll come up at the beginning. So I'm just going to create a playlist, and And then use your teaser text. Create your card. Now I'm creating another, see I want to now put a playlist on something that I think people may find interesting. There's only one T in Gutenberg. Okay, and then I'm going to create this card. And you want to make sure they're a little bit separated from each other. There's, it's still going to come up here. But they'll come up. This will come up at six minutes in. And this one will should come up at about ten minutes in. You can add another card. creating this card. Okay, so now I have three cards on here. Now, the Creative Commons that I downloaded from the actual um, Creative Commons feature, I am just going to go into my, my notepad and take the actual URL from it and then enter it in here 
and you can download and upload as many Creative Commons as you please. You know, and the teaser text has to be something like um, that people are actually going to click on. So you have to make it sort of like it's a mystery. So are you safe? And that is actually the, the truth. I think I may have spelled copyright wrong. Yes, I did. Spelled right. Okay. And then create the card. And then you can decide where that card is going to go. Like, for instance, I have I'm gonna put that there. Move that over here, and as you can see, it's saving your changes as you're making them. So now I have four on there, and it's saving the changes as I'm making it. And then all I want to do is return to YouTube Studio Beta. Then I want to make sure that I am adding my video to a playlist. Right here, playlists. This will help in ranking for your search engine optimization. You just choose the playlist that you want to add your video to. And then done. Save your changes. Now it's time to publish your video. So you want to change from private to public and done. <coughs> Excuse me. Save. Once it's published, it'll give you an idea as to how it is ranking and where it's being shown. So I am now going to just copy this information, the exact title, and take it into my YouTube search engine. for it to be processed and it does take a while to get processed properly so let that finish the processing and while it's finishing processing, I am going to go back into my video. And then into my transcriptions.
where it says the automatic, that is where YouTube has automatically transcribed your video. And uh, it says published right there. So I am going to click into where it says published. Then you will see this is the transcription that YouTube has come up with for your video. You would then click edit. Now here is where you can change your, your letters and as you type, the video will pause. I have my mic in right now, so I need this to be silent. And you have to pay attention to when you're transcribing. You have to pay attention to your, your actual what it looks like on your video and say I wanted to move this down I can move this to the next line actually I didn't want to do that but I just wanted to go into the next line and I have my video muted right now but what you'll notice is when this is on you will see that this is going through where you have your cursor. You can also change the timing in it if you want. You can add subtitles. Now you, you have to remember you, you'll be in the box below and then if you want to add a subtitle you click here and then you this is the new subtitle so. you go through your transcription okay so say you actually want to have a new box you just click here just Put your cursor in the beginning and then then that now becomes your new box. And it's always good to let people know what exactly what your video is about so it's good to if you're like for instance I'm talking about the Creative Commons so I want to make sure that that is there so that people see that's what it is And you can change anything you want in your um, in your subtitles or is not going all the way down which I want it to okay you can add something at the end if you want and oh, like for instance say you wanted to add
So you wanted to add like another uh, in the last, in your last line. And because I, I have this off, it's, um, it's not doing what it's supposed to. But you can add your another subtitle, you can add anything that you need. And then when you are done, you then publish your edits. You will see these two, the English Automatic and the English. Now the English Automatic is what YouTube created because you just published something new it, it just went into English because that is what you chose as your um, default language. So I'm just going to click in here into the English. This is uh, the one. This is the one that has all the edits in it. Now I have a program. It's called um, Google to Cert and i am going to leave the description in the bottle in the bottom for you i'm just going to find it yes google to srt and this program will allow you to see your actual transcription and to be able to get further information which i'm going to show you and I will leave that in the link, the bottom. So you want to download SRT, which is subrip. I'm going to download this into my desktop, and I'm also going to give it a name. So there it is there, it's now downloaded and I am now going to open it and it will open in a program called Subtitles Edit and I'm going to leave that in the description as well. Which is right here subtitle edit and I will leave that in the description now there are many things that you can actually do here you can edit find find next replace multiple replace you can adjust your your timing your duration merge short lines, merge line, merge lines with same text, uh, quite a few things you can do. You can spell check, find double words, synchronization, and then there's other options. The ones that the one that we're interested in right now is in export. So you want to export this in plain text. You want to make sure that the lines are merged because otherwise you're going to end up with this. And then save as. Okay, so I'm saving that as the Creative Commons script. Uh oh. Windows Forms. I'm going to 
abort that for one second. Find out what has happened. Just going to open it. Export plain text. Merge all lines. And I've already saved it. So I'm now going to just copy it. I copied the whole thing. And then I go into my notepad. And now I can put this in here. And now I have information that I can use for content that I actually have said in the video. So now depending on how many So there's two parts to this video. The other part uh, I am making, this is part one. So I'm just gonna copy this information the way that it is. Go back into my video. back into my video and it will return you to your actual dashboard so you want to make sure that you go back into your video into your description. Paste what you, you, what you have from your transcription and sometimes you're okay. Sometimes you can use everything that you have from your transcription and other times you have too many too many characters. So I just want to let people know that this is part one.
Okay, so I'm just putting a few extra words in there, and I believe I spelled that wrong, so I need to change that. I know this word is spelled wrong. Okay. And I've started using emojis. I find that they help with your engagement as well. So I'm just going to find an emoji. Okay, I'm going to save the changes. Now I'm going to check my title out to see whether I am able to rank for this title or not. These keywords are very competitive. Okay, so there you have it. This is real time. This was just processed as I was making this video. Uh, today, which is April the 24th, 2019, and I was able to rank third for these keywords. So this is the end of the part one i will be continuing on with part two so watch for it it is being made have a wonderful day